show how we set up the arms, how we place the robot uh, through a single incision. I'm with Muguril Bosinciano, he's my, my partner in, in Uniportal Rats. So we work together as a team, as I said before, this is a, a teamwork, 50%, 50%. So he's so important doing the, this um, setup. And we are going to show how we move the robot, how we place the arms, and how we do the configuration. Yes, okay, perfect. Mugur, you yes. want to say something? No, hello, and uh, I'm ready to, to position the, the robotic arms. Fantastic. Thank you. So, so let's drive. It doesn't matter if the, if the uh, robot is on the left or on the right, uh, for, for example, for this right side case. Again, okay, so. because this is right upper, for example, we are on the right uh, mythorax, we need to cancel the arm one. So and it go. is very important now to move the robot with the laser. There is a laser here, you will see. No, good. Just the, the cross should be in the upper part, here. You see the cross here, the laser, the laser. D deeper, 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 more, 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 more. Okay, so you can see here, perfectly place the cross on the posterior part of the incision. Very important. And now, Move. We will cancel the arm. One we for the right arm. side, as far as possible, and back. And Mugu, you can explain. We always have like vertical this, but we can rotate a little bit more. Huh? Yes. You can explain. We can rotate a little bit more the boom, because the line must be parallel with the patient. A little bit more rotation here, a little bit more. Okay, you see the so. line, the line, the long line must be parallel with yes. the, the table. This one. Yes, the cross at the uh, pa upper part of the incision and the, the line yes. parallel with the patient. No. More or less parallel, this line. Yes. Huh? Okay. And now okay. we use the arm two for the robot, for arm the camera. Arm two for the camera. Have the trockers. Maybe a little height, boom height. Mm -hmm. uh, let's enable this. Because for the staplings, when I take out the stapler, must have some uh, some some space. targeting. No targeting, never. We don't do targeting. It's one of the things that make this faster. The mark in the middle of the letter. Yes, this mark here. You see the the black in the middle. should be in the middle in of the middle. one of these. Yes. I will show you now. Here. This mark in the middle of the letter. You should check that this is in the middle of one of these. Yes. Either the first, second, third, or fourth, doesn't matter. But should be in the middle, not on the left or on the right, in the middle. In okay? the middle, yes. And the same with this and the same with that. Yes. So, the second trocker. Thank you. Put all the trockers now. Give me the third trocker, please. Thank you. Workspace may be limited. We put the trockers and then. With this mark, the big, uh, the big black mark, at the edge, and then <coughs> arrange here. So, third arm, like this. Equal space there, in the middle of the letters. Maybe two separate this, move, three and four, a bit closer. Four. You move like this? Yes. The camera, please. And now with the clearance, you see the clearance? We the need clearance, to do clearance yes. here. Clearance, yes, but the distance we is We already good did now. before, but we need to, yes. do, to, to move, do, show, to move. to move the arrow and to have like more space, okay? Because if they are too close, maybe it will be more collision. You have to go like this. To have the space here between exactly. the joints. So the you have to be sure place. that the clearance is always open, okay? Not like this. Otherwise, we'll collide. Searching for the camera target. in the upper part, yes. always. This always. is a very important concept. And the instruments below, parallel. Not like this. So my parallel. left arm is in a pro-grasp, arm number three. And the right arm is the Maryland dissector. You also use the direct vision for positioning. 
it's important. The screen and the direct vision. It's because you have an utility incision, so you can see through you the You can incision. see through the incision. Just for placing put the arms. arms. To put yes. arms. And then you are ready to go for yes. the and now we have the console surgeon. The console and here. We'll take the suction. OK, so, so now I'm ready, you see? To go everywhere. And the assistant with the suction will follow the surgeon. So, one, one important detail. It is very important that the assistant, in this case, Mugur, use the suction because the instruments that he used are only two or three. Long curve, longer than this. Metallic should be metallic, one. long curve suction like this. So he has to see the space to uh, help, OK? To help with this. Very important. Huh? To expose, for example, retract the lung, uh, suction, do some remove the blood yes. or the liquid or whatever. Huh? So the good thing of uniportal rats is that you don't need too many instruments. You don't need raspers to retract, because you work like this. So everything that happens around you doesn't matter. It's not like you need multi-portal rats. Multi-portal rats, you have instruments coming from here, from here, from here. So you need to have retraction to reach that, that part. In uniportal rats, you go like this. So with a, with a robot, you can retract and work. So you don't need too much retraction. It's one of the things that I, we saw. Is the very assistant mu must not interfere all the time, only when it needed. Exactly. So the, the suction must be kept um, as much as possible near the camera trocar is the best position to help. And under the surgeon uh, instruments, you see, under, always under, not between, because you will, uh, we will, uh, you will, uh, you will uh, hurt the, <laughs> the dissection field. So this is how we set up the robot. This is how we put the arms. It's and a very we, quick docking, as you will see. Yeah, this is another thing. One, two minutes, and also undocking is very, very fast. For example, you, you want to undock? You undock this one out. Yes, you put this one aside, this one out, this one out. And you are undocked, ready to take action if you have a problem inside, OK? Fast changing the ports, moving the robot, it, it's uh, easy, it's easy. So this is how we set up the ports. This is how, how we do in the portal rats. And let's see with the patient uh, a more interesting video. Thank you.